Okay, during this session, we are going to talk about the botanicals of thick skincare. Now, there are three different types of botanicals, one for normal skin, dry skin, and oily skin. This one is for the normal or the dry skin. I'll do a different demonstration for the oily skin one. But it's a four-step regimen, and it is the cleanser, mask, freshener, and moisturizer. In our case, I am going to include the acne treatment for um, whenever you have those breakouts. So this is a customized approach to how to do your skincare. And it's specifically for those um, people who either do not have issues with aging on the skin or for those preteen or teenagers who just need a really good skincare regimen um, to take care of their skin. I wanna preface this session by saying, you need to clean your skin twice a day. Every time you brush your teeth, you need to wash your face. You sweat in the night, you don't, you don't realize it, but you do, and then also there are dead skin cells as well. In the morning, you need to clean it. At night, after a long day, you need to clean your face. Don't go to bed with a dirty face. Trust me on this. I don't care how many times you change the sheets, it is just not good to go to bed with a dirty face. So what you want to do is I use my Skin Bigger brush because it gets me extra cleaning. But if you're not using a brush, I'll show you what you do. You just dab your hands in some water. And in your case, I'm, I'm at a seat, I'm at a um, desk, but you can be at a sink and you'll just run the water over. So you'll just dab it, dab it, dab it. You always wanna start with a wet face. So put some on your chin, cheek, nose, and forehead and you'll just rub it in like this. Now for those of you who have the Skin Bigger brush, you just make sure the bristles of the brush are wet. Add a little bit of that cleanser on there. See if I pick that. And you just rub, well you don't have to rub, you actually just move the brush in a circular motion. And it's really great because it gets your skin really, really clean. You don't have to do a lot of the work. But depending on if you have a brush or not, I showed you both ways. Always, always, always get as close to the hairline as you can. All right. Don't forget the bridge of the nose. A lot of people forget that. Your eyebrows, all of that. The great thing about this brush is that it is also timed. So you don't have to worry about it. And you notice I'm doing my neck. It's very, very important. Make sure you get clean everywhere. Nice scrub, especially after a long day with all those interactions at work or at school. And see the timer stopped on its own. Can you see all the dirt? Gross. Ugh. So. You are going to take a towel. I'm using one of my Mary Kay towels. You'll run it in some water, squeeze it out really well. Um, if you want, you can splash the water on your face. I know some people like to do that. I like the towel. Oh my God, it feels great. Go up and out, never go down because gravity is already pulling us down. So we go in an upward, outward motion. All right. So your face should be feeling all nice and squeaky clean at this point. I got my mirror here so I don't miss anything. So that is going for you. Um, you're going to let it sit for a second. The next step is your mask. Now this mask, you only need to do two to three times a week. Um, if it's not a mask day, you would just go straight to the freshener, okay? But we're gonna pretend like it's a mask day because I want you to know how to do it with the mask. Um, this mask is to help uh, clean out those pores. It's a nice exfoliant and you're supposed to exfoliate your skin two to three times a week. It's very, very important. Now, 
If you are a teen, make sure that you do this maybe eight to 10 minutes. Anyone who is out of their teen years can do it for 10 to 15. It is a gentle mask, so you won't have any problems with it. You just open it up, put it on the, well, in my case, I'm putting mine on the spatula. You can dab a little there, a little there, a little there, a little there. You wanna make sure that you cover all of your bases. This set actually reminds me of the classic Mary Kay set that used to be available back in the day. Um, it's really, really good. And I know some, <laughs> whether, you have, whether you have aging or not, I know some people who still use this is very, very nice. There's nothing like the classic, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you just put it on all over. You can put it on your neck if you want to, um, if you're gonna relax a little bit, no problem, but you don't have to. It's more important to get the neck clean and moisturized than exfoliated. That's primarily for the face. And you'll let it sit for about eight to 10 minutes or 10 to 15, depending on your age group, okay? So I'm gonna go let this sit. All right, it's been 10 minutes. So I'm ready to wash my mask off now that it's all nice and dry. Now this you definitely wanna enjoy the towel with because it helps break up the hardness of the mask. So pat it, pat it, pat it. And then just rub it right off. Like I said, you're only going to do this two to three times a week. Probably twice a week, depending on your schedule. <laughs> and you never want to do this on days that are back to back. So, for example, if today is Tuesday, you don't want to do it on Wednesday. You want to wait till Thursday or Friday or even Saturday. Um, so try to space it out when you decide to do this because you, you should not exfoliate back to back like that, okay? So make sure that you know when you're doing it so that you will get the best results out of your skincare. I'm just looking in my mirror to make sure I didn't miss any spots. All right, so whew, my skin feels light. Yours should too. <laughs> That's great. So like I said, you only do the mask on masking days, all right? You don't need to do it on other days. So now we're going to move to step two. This is the freshener. Freshener is important for a number of reasons. It's, it's like a toner. It helps make sure that your skin is doing what it needs to do as far as um, cleanliness, right? So the freshener is uh, going to be something that you use either if it, like I said, if it's not a uh, mask day, if it's a regular clean and moisturized day, you'll just use it after you clean. And then if it's a mask day, you use it after you mask. But it helps your skin um, look more radiant. It helps make sure of any leftover residue that you may have missed, whether it is the mask or it is the cleanser, it's going to make sure you get all of that. And this one is really nice because it's hypoallergenic and you don't have to worry about irritancy. So you can do one or two things. I like using the cotton pad. Some people like using the cotton ball. You can, this is a new one, so you can spray it on there and get in there, or you can put it on a cotton pad, whichever you prefer. So here we go. Like I said, upward and outward, remember? Don't ever put it near your eyes. Always do like the head, the chin, the cheeks, and the nose, just not the eyes, okay? All right, that's your freshener. Now, the next step is the ac acne gel. Now, this gel is a spot treatment. A lot of people try to put it all over their face. It's not meant to be all over your face. It's only meant to be where the bumps are, okay? or where you feel it. Cause sometimes I know for me, I use acne. Uh, I use this all the time, but I can kind of feel what's coming. Even if it's a small one, go ahead and put this on there. So here's what I do. I put a little bit on the back of my hand like that. 
And then I kind of try to feel around, see it's on my middle finger. I kind of feel around with my index, like, oh, that might be one. So put some there, put some there. You you know, you kind of know where you can feel it on your face, right? Or you can use the other hand and say, ooh, I might have something coming there. I might have something coming there. But you notice I didn't put it all over my face. I only put it in the spots where I either already have a bump or I feel one coming. Don't put it all over your face. You don't need it all over your face. It is an acne spot treatment. So put it directly on that spot. You're gonna be good to go, all right? So we've already done cleanser. We've already done the mask. We've already done the freshener and we've done acne spot treatment. This is as needed, okay? So the final step is your moisturizer. You should never, ever, ever do your skincare without moisturizer. Moisturizer is necessary, you have to have it. So I'm gonna open this up, put a little bit on the back of my hand, that's what I look, normally do, and put a dab here, here, cheeks, nose, forehead, chin, and don't forget your neck, because we cleaned our neck, so we need to make sure that we moisturize our neck. You wanna go up and out, Make sure you get all the spots. And that's it. You are ready to either go to bed or go on with your day. This is an amazing skincare regimen. I used it when I was growing up. Um, the botanical effects do not disappoint. Um, it's a four-step regimen for the botanical effects, but I have the occasional breakouts as well. So this one actually has a special customized approach for you. So on a normal day, you'll just do these three. It takes three minutes. Never, ever, ever go without doing your skincare. It's very important. It only takes you three minutes to do. When you do that mask, you need to do it at night. Do it at night because you have more time and your skin can rest and replenish afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed this segment. Let me know what you think and never, ever, ever skip your skincare twice a day, every time you brush your teeth. Bye-bye. <laughs>